royally rare look inside a wing of Buckingham Palace that's hardly ever seen by the public. King Charles is opening it up to visitors for the very first time this summer, and our Maggie Ruley got a tour. Good morning, Maggie. Rebecca, good morning. Yeah, you can see that famous balcony. It's just right behind me. And, you know, we're used to seeing generations of royals standing up there and waving to the public. But guys, we got to go behind the balcony. And, and what was a real pinch me moment, I got a rare glimpse of that royal view. It's one of the most famous balconies in history. For nearly 200 years, we've seen members of the royal family up there celebrating coronations weddings, jubilees, and trooping the color. Come on in. But now you too can get a king's eye view of London. We are standing in the center room of Buckingham Palace, and it's a place you probably better recognize from the outside because right there, that is the iconic balcony where the royals stand to give their wave. This summer, King Charles is opening the east wing of the palace to the public with three rarely seen spaces. The yellow drawing room, the 240-foot corridor that spans the width of the palace. It's incredible to think about the generations of royals that have stood and walked right here. Oh, wow! And the center room, the holding area for the family before they step out into the spotlight. You've been everywhere in Buckingham Palace. Have you stepped foot on the royal balcony? No. <laughs> Not even you. That's the, no, that's the one place that is reserved exclusively for members of the royal family. Before now, only palace insiders knew what the center room really looked like, with the exception of the odd glimpse. I wish you a Christmas of peace on earth. Like during the king's Christmas address last year. The room, often depicted in film and TV, including the crown, we now know they didn't exactly get it right. Why open up the East Wing now? His Majesty the King is very keen on public access. He's passionately interested in the collection. Mm -hmm. And this is a fantastic opportunity to share these spaces. Royal fans can view paintings acquired by King George IV, as well as antique English and French furniture and works of art from Japan and China. The wing built by Queen Victoria, the balcony, her way to connect with the public. That tradition has continued over the centuries and still happens today. And guys, some more royal history for you. The East Wing was actually built by the great, great, great grandfather of Queen Camilla. All right, I do have some bad news for you, though. Unfortunately, tours of the East Wing are already sold out for the summer, but the good news is that you can still go on tours of other parts of Buckingham Palace. So, guys, still an excuse to practice that royal wave. <laughs> Any excuse, we'll take it. All right, thank you so much, Maggie. We will see you later.